Gary Fowley is representing ITU at the third International Conference on Financing for Development in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where a joint statement was issued by United Nations Group recognising that science, technology and innovation are essential to achieve the post-2015 Sustainable Development Agenda. We asked him, who stands to benefit most from greater digital financial inclusion? Well, I think we all stand to benefit, but I think the developing world generally and the least developed world uh, specifically probably stand to benefit the most uh, because uh, they have had the, uh, you know, the weakest financial systems. Uh, many people have been excluded from the, uh, the, the banking system, from the financial system, uh, not necessarily because they had enough means to be uh, included, but the, the systems were not secure enough. One, one of the, the biggest um, benefits of ICT for development, uh, when you ensure that the least developed countries in the developing world generally have access to ICTs, is that you, you'll see, and we've seen, a explosion in innovations. Uh, really just the, the tip of the iceberg in terms of innovation. And the best example of that really uh, is things like the M-Pasa mobile money system that came out of Kenya uh, and, and the whole M-Banking uh, and M-Commerce that's happening here, in, especially in Africa, where it's innovative ICT solutions by Africans for Africans. And I think that's... Uh, you know, we're, we're just seeing the beginning of that. And it's what it's done is it's brought people into the system who, you know, before maybe didn't feel confident enough to, uh, to use the existing financial system or, um, you know, would maybe keeping, get that money out of, the, uh, out of the, the box in the bottom of the cupboard or underneath the mattress and put it in uh, a, a, a secure digital system that they have access to and with their mobile phones, they have it with them all the time, which gives them an added sense of security um, that even if the phone is stolen, uh, you know, that, that uh, money is still secure. So I really think, uh, you know, and as a result, if you bring them into the uh, financial system, uh, you know, and they have that confidence, they're more likely going to uh, be confident in investing. Bankers are going to be more inclined to make loans on people who have track records in the financial system. So... Uh, you know, everybody stands to benefit. The Monterey Consensus advocates sound economic policies for sustainable development. How will the outcomes of this conference help achieve sustainable development? Well, I think for the first time, uh, from Monterey to Doha and now here in Addis, the importance of science, technology and innovation generally, ICT specifically, uh, is being addressed. Because what, in terms of sound financial policies, mean you know confidence, creating confidence in the system, having access to the system, um, making sure that it's well government, governed. One of the things that ICTs have done be, beyond creating uh, mobile money systems that you know the developing world is creating for itself. One of the things that ICTs do is they um, ensure greater transparency. Um, you know, you, you, uh, by, by ensuring that we um, have the communication tools, we open up the system to uh, greater oversight and, and governance, more transparency. It's not as easy uh, to be as corrupt. I mean, it's easy to be corrupt, but it's not as easy to uh, not get caught being corrupt if, uh, if we have open, transparent uh, systems built on communication technology that... Um, you know, enlightens us and, and uh, enables us to um, ensure that there is, uh, you know, proper governance. It's kind of like with, um, you know, licensing of uh, our regulators. You know, when you're, when you're issuing the license, we've learned at, at ITU that a, we need to ensure that we have an open and transparent licensing system where bids are done uh, in an open and transparent way so that the, the um, uh, private sector is confident that their investment will be treated respectfully and that it's not going to end up in, in somebody's back pocket because, uh, you know, why would you want to invest if you're not confident that that money is going, that your money, your investment is going to be respected? So I think that's what ICTs bring to um, uh, basically to financial uh, governance and what 
is changed here over the last two conferences, as I understand. Uh, I was in Doha, but I wasn't in uh, Doha uh, representing ITU. Is I think science and technology again generally, but ICT specifically are, are being seen as as really important for um, creating that kind of transparent environment and and bringing people in at the bottom of the of the financial period pyramid that haven't had access to the financial banking systems before. What can ITU do? to contribute to the outcomes of the FFD conference and promote ICTs to leverage sustainable development? Well, I think we need to do what we've always done, which is to stick to our mission for 150 years, which is you know to bring connectivity to the world. What's changed in some aspects is how important that connectivity has become as an underpinning infrastructure uh, for financial services. Um, we're seeing the growth of the internet, which ITU has helped build as really our first global utility uh, underpinning development across the board. So ICTs have always been a cross-cutting enabler for the three pillars of sustainable development, which are economic growth, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability. But they have taken on a, a more prominent role as ICT networks become more basic infrastructure. I think what's what really the, the beginning of that change for me, anyways, in my analysis was in 2010 when uh, the least developed countries in Istanbul, in what's called the Istanbul Plan of Action, uh, elevated ICT networks to on par of infrastructure with water, transportation, and energy. Uh, and these are these are countries that where people are living on less than a dollar a day, and it, people think it's ironic. Well, why would you, why would they do that? Why would they you know um, you know you can't eat a mobile phone? No, you can't eat a mobile phone. But people who don't have mobile phones realize what a powerful tool it is to empower themselves to gather the information that they need to better market their crops, to better uh, you know improve their ch children's education, their own health, etc. So we need to continue to sort of keep our eye on what we do best, which is enabling, creating enabling environments for ICT networks through capacity building, through uh, regulatory reform and uh, standards and licensing, and supporting uh, connectivity where we can. Uh, I think here, uh, in the financial side, it's not so much specifically financial ICT, it's ICT as a tool for financial development. And that's what uh, you know we've tried to promote, uh, not just here in the Financing for Development Conference, but in the Sustainable Development Conference, which is coming up in September. We've positioned ICTs as a cross-cutting enabler, but also as a means of implementation for all the goals. Uh, as, as you know, there's uh, proposed 17 proposed sustainable development goals, 169 targets, we have specific ICT targets for gender, education, infrastructure, and that one's very important because it specifies universal and affordable access to the LDC, uh, in the LDCs uh, to uh, ICT networks. And in goal 17, ICTs as a tool of me uh, means of implementation. But it's not just means of ICTs unto itself in, as a tool of implementation. It's a means of implementation across all 17 goals. So what we will need to do is to ensure that ICTs are, are being reflected in the development strategies, tactics, uh, and operation of all the, the um, activities that are going to be taken on to achieve those specific targets across 16, uh, seven, 16 goals plus the mean 17, which is means of implementation. So in having that recognized, having it recognized globally as an important tool is, is a, you know, uh, implementation is, is incredibly important. And just to quote the uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Belgium, and who uh, came to our side event, we hosted a side event this week here in Addis with our interagency partners, and he said, uh, you know, this, what we need to do now is we're living in a, te a technology revolution, but we have to turn that technology revolution into a development revolution and tying the two together. And I think that's very, very uh, uh, wise of him. And I think it's something that uh, uh, is really gaining traction and people understand the, the uh, importance of.
ITU, innovating together.